did you ever spend time in solitary confinement? You mean the hole? Yeah, the hole. Uh, yeah, yeah, twice I got sent there. The only time I was nervous was in the hole and afraid. At first they told me five days and I was in the hole for about a month. When you're by yourself for so long and you don't have any human interaction for so long, you start hallucinating and you start hearing people talk to you that aren't there. It's bad. That's all I can say, it's bad. We had heard from community partners and from attorneys that there were children being held in solitary confinement in the adult jails in King County, in the Regional Justice Center and in the downtown King County Jail. They were held by themselves in a concrete cell and only allowed out of their cell for an hour at a time, meaning that a child under the age of 18 might go 48 hours at a stretch without ever getting out of their cell. And uh, that would be deadlock where you come out on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays for 15 minutes a day. There are about 160 young people who could have been subjected to solitary confinement between 2014 and 2019. The youth that were held in this situation in 2016, every single one of them was a child of color. And in 2018, about 85% of them were children of color. We spoke with one young man who had been awaiting trial in the King County Jail for 13 months, and 10 of those months he'd been uh, in solitary confinement. I went back to the hole again for one time for talking under my door again. Were you ever placed on suicide watch while you were there? Um. Yes, but not because I said I was going to kill myself. If the staff don't like the solution, they'll try to say you said you was going to kill yourself. And if you don't do that, they'll come in there with the terms out, tell you to be dead. And if you don't do that, they'll tell you what makes you run into. They'll strip you, no size, no underwear. We're talking about 16 and 17 year old young kids being strip searched by adults. We're walked out of our rooms with shackles. We're put in our rooms with shackles on. In terms of education, there was one teacher who serviced the entire population. Our teacher didn't come until basically after my birthday, which was in November. And when he did come, slides a paper under your door and says, here. It's also because we can't be around anybody. So sometimes we would go months without seeing our family. And we were just waiting to be able to talk to someone. And they're only 30 minutes. So 30 minutes is not a lot of time. You get in there, give them a hug, and you're they're gone, you know? The long-term effects of isolation with respect to the clients that we have worked with, they continue to suffer uh, mental health issues, emotional issues. Some of those youth had just gotten there when I started to meet with them and I could see the progressive difference in their behavior, in their mindset. I really watched it deflate several of them. We're being punished, but that's taking it to the extreme. What do you want to strip us for? What do you want to take away from us, our minds? Columbia Legal Services brought a lawsuit on behalf of four young men who were subject to these inhumane practices. And immediately after that lawsuit, the King County Executive issued an order prohibiting youth to be held in any adult facility in the future. And the King County Council passed an ordinance prohibiting the use of solitary confinement against children in any facility in King County, except in very limited circumstances. This work would not have been possible without the, the close cooperation and support of our partner agencies. Team Child of the ACLU, we were in close contact with the public defense agency agencies, local criminal defense attorneys. Legal Foundation of Washington, without them, this investigation, this work doesn't happen. And now at the state level, there's legislation being proposed to eradicate the use of solitary confinement against children in any juvenile facility. To all of you in the room, uh, you have the power to change this system. You have the power to change these practices. We can all do it, but we need to do it together. And what is absolutely essential is that we all remain vigilant to fight injustice where we see it and when we have the opportunity.